My beloved child, listen to the words I am speaking directly to your heart today. Embrace this message fully, for it comes from the depths of my eternal love for you. I want you to live life abundantly, to savor every moment and appreciate the blessings I have bestowed upon you. Understand that the path you walk may be fraught with challenges, but these are not without purpose. They are designed to strengthen you, to build your character, and to draw you closer to me. You are my precious creation, fearfully and wonderfully made. Trust in my love and the plans I have for you, for they are plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When the storms of life rage and the winds blow fiercely against you, stand firm on the foundation that is Christ. He is your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Know that the battles you face are not fought alone. My angels are warring on your behalf in the heavenly realms, protecting you from the enemy who seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. Be vigilant and discerning, guarding your heart and mind against deceit and temptation. Remember, your faith is a shield, your prayers a powerful weapon against the forces of darkness. I have equipped you with everything you need to succeed. My spirit dwells within you, giving you wisdom, strength, and courage. Lean on me in times of trouble, and I will carry you through. Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil, for I am with you. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. Take refuge in my promises. They are true and unfailing. I will never leave you nor forsake you. When you are weary and burdened, come to me, and I will give you rest. Cast all your anxieties on me, for I care for you deeply. Your journey is unique, filled with moments of joy and sorrow, victory and defeat. Through it all, I am molding you into the person I created you to be. Do not despise the process, for it is through these trials that you are being refined like gold. Believe in the dreams I have placed in your heart. Pursue them with relentless faith and unwavering hope. Know that I am the God of miracles, and nothing is impossible for me. When doors seem closed, I can open new ones. When the way seems blocked, I can make a path. Type, yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Remember, my child, you are never alone. My presence goes before you, my love surrounds you, and my grace is sufficient for you. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge me, and I will direct your paths. As you move forward, do so with confidence and boldness. You are a conqueror, more than a conqueror, through Christ who loves you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. 
and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. Be a light in this world, reflecting my love and truth. Let your words and actions bring glory to my name. Encourage others, lift up the brokenhearted, and share the hope you have found in me. Your testimony is powerful and can bring others into the kingdom. In every season, give thanks. Rejoice in the blessings and find strength in the trials. My grace will sustain you and my peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. So rise up, my beloved. Stand tall and walk in the fullness of the life I have given you. I am with you always, to the very end of the age. You are my beloved child, and I am your God. Trust me, follow me, and know that I am working all things together for your good. Type Amen if you receive this message, and share it with others who need to hear my words. Let my love and peace fill your heart today and always. I love you with an everlasting love. God bless you. I want you to understand, my dear one, that my love for you is unconditional and unfathomable. There is nothing you can do to make me love you more, and there is nothing you can do to make me love you less. My love is constant, unwavering, and it is the very essence of who I am. Embrace this truth and let it sink deep into your soul. As you journey through life, Remember that your identity is found in me. You are not defined by your past mistakes, your failures, or what others say about you. You are defined by my love and my purpose for you. You are my child, my treasured possession, and I delight in you. Type, yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. When you face moments of doubt and insecurity, come to me. I am your refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Pour out your heart to me. For I am your loving Father who listens and understands. I will comfort you, guide you, and provide for all your needs according to my riches in glory. Do not be afraid to dream big, for I am the God of the impossible. I can do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine, according to my power that is at work within you. Trust in my timing, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In your moments of weakness, my strength is made perfect. Do not rely on your own understanding or abilities, but lean on me. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand and lead you on the path of righteousness for my name's sake. My dear one, life will not always be easy, but know that I am with you every step of the way. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. 
Keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. Do not be distracted by the worries and cares of this world. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Trust that I am working all things together for your good. You are my ambassador on this earth, called to reflect my love and grace to those around you. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Be a vessel of my love, compassion, and truth, bringing hope to the hopeless and healing to the broken. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. In times of joy, rejoice and give thanks. In times of sorrow, draw near to me and I will be your comfort. In times of uncertainty, seek my wisdom and guidance. I am the Good Shepherd, and I will lead you beside still waters and restore your soul. Never forget that you are deeply loved, highly favored, and abundantly blessed. I have chosen you and appointed you to bear fruit that will last. Abide in me, and you will bear much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing, but with me, all things are possible. So, my beloved, go forth with confidence and courage. Know that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. My love surrounds you, my grace empowers you, and my peace fills you. Trust in me, follow me, and live out the purpose I have for you. Remember that every step you take, every decision you make, and every word you speak matters. Live your life as a reflection of my love and grace, knowing that I am with you and for you. You are never alone, for I am your God and you are my beloved child. Type Amen if you receive this message and share it with others who need to hear my words. Let my love and peace fill your heart today and always. I love you with an everlasting love. God bless you, my precious child. As you continue to walk this journey, my child, let your heart be filled with hope and expectancy. Each new day is a gift from me, an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to draw closer to the destiny I have prepared for you. Embrace each moment with gratitude, knowing that every breath you take is a testament to my love and faithfulness. Do not be discouraged by setbacks or failures. They are but stepping stones on the path to greater things. Remember, even the greatest oak was once a tiny seed that had to fight through the darkness to reach the light. So too will you grow stronger through every challenge you face. Your perseverance and faithfulness will bear much fruit in due season. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Take time to rest in my presence. In the busyness of life, it is easy to become overwhelmed and weary, but I have created a place of rest for you, 
a sanctuary where you can find peace and renewal. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Let my words wash over you, refreshing your spirit and reviving your soul. Stay rooted in my word. It is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. In it, you will find wisdom, encouragement, and the strength to face any situation. Let it dwell richly in you, guiding your thoughts and actions. When you meditate on my promises, you will be reminded of my unfailing love and the hope you have in me. Surround yourself with those who uplift and encourage you. Community is vital for your growth and well-being. Seek out fellowship with other believers who will pray with you, stand with you, and spur you on in your faith. Iron sharpens iron, and together you will be stronger. Be generous with your love and kindness. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Look for opportunities to serve and bless others. Your acts of kindness and compassion will be a reflection of my heart to the world. In giving, you will receive, and in blessing others, you will be blessed. Stay hopeful and optimistic about the future. Though you may not see the full picture now, trust that I am working all things together for your good. I hold your future in my hands, and I have great plans for you. Plans to prosper you, to give you hope and to use you mightily for my kingdom. When you feel lost or uncertain, remember that I am the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. I will guide you with my loving hand, leading you on paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Listen for my voice and follow where I lead. Be bold in your faith. Do not be ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. Share your testimony and the hope you have in me with others. Your story has the power to inspire and transform lives. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. In moments of doubt or fear, remind yourself of who you are in me. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. You are chosen redeemed and set apart for my purposes. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. As you journey forward, know that my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. When you feel inadequate, remember that I am your strength. When you feel unworthy, remember that you are covered by my righteousness. When you feel alone, remember that I am with you always. Continue to seek me with all your heart. I promise that when you seek me, you will find me. Delight yourself in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. Trust in me and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me, and I will make your path straight. My beloved child, you are deeply loved, 
wonderfully made and destined for greatness. Walk confidently in this truth, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. My love surrounds you, my grace empowers you, and my peace fills you. Trust in me, follow me, and live out the purpose I have for you. Type Amen if you receive this message and share it with others who need to hear my words. Let my love and peace fill your heart today and always. I love you with an everlasting love. God bless you, my precious child. As you continue to walk this path, my child, remember to keep your focus on the eternal. The things of this world are temporary, but the treasures you store up in heaven are everlasting. Let your heart be set on the things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Let this perspective guide your choices and priorities, aligning them with my will and purpose for your life. In moments of uncertainty, let your faith be anchored in my unchanging nature. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My promises are true and I am faithful to fulfill every word I have spoken over your life. When you are tempted to doubt, remind yourself of my faithfulness in the past and trust that I will continue to be faithful in the future. Seek to cultivate a heart of gratitude. Even in the midst of trials, there is always something to be thankful for. Gratitude opens your eyes to my presence and my work in your life. It shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have been blessed with. Let thanksgiving be a continual practice, for it draws you closer to me and fills your heart with joy. Remember the power of prayer. It is your direct line of communication with me. Through prayer, you can pour out your heart, seek guidance, intercede for others, and find comfort. Pray without ceasing, knowing that I hear every word and that your prayers are powerful and effective. Embrace the power of my spirit within you. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in you. He is your helper, your comforter, and your guide. Yield to his leading and let him fill you with wisdom, power, and love. With the Holy Spirit working in and through you, there is no limit to what you can accomplish for my kingdom. Live with integrity and authenticity. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be a person of your word, living in a way that reflects my truth and love. Your actions should match your words and your life should be a testament to the transforming power of my grace. Be compassionate and merciful, just as I have been compassionate and merciful to you. Forgive those who have wronged you and extend grace to those who need it. Your kindness can soften hearts and open doors for my love to enter. Let your life be a beacon of hope and a source of comfort to those around you. Stay grounded in community. The body of Christ is designed to support, encourage, and build each other up. Do not isolate yourself, but actively engage with others in fellowship and service. Together, you are stronger 
and more effective in advancing my kingdom. Let your life be a reflection of my light. In a world filled with darkness, be a source of hope and truth. Shine brightly, not for your own glory, but to point others to me. Let your good deeds be seen, so that others may glorify your Father in heaven. As you journey forward, remember that you are never alone. I am with you, guiding you, supporting you, and loving you every step of the way. My presence goes before you, my grace surrounds you, and my love fills you. Trust in me, lean on me, and find your strength in me. My beloved child, you are precious in my sight. Your life has immense value and purpose. Do not let the lies of the enemy or the opinions of others diminish your worth. You are mine, and I delight in you. Walk in this truth and let it shape your identity and destiny. Type Amen if you receive this message and share it with others who need to hear my words. Let my love and peace fill your heart today and always. I love you with an everlasting love. Life is tough. Since Adam's sin, the world is broken and nothing works perfectly. Your body doesn't work perfectly. The weather, relationships, etc. Life is full of losses. There is this myth that Christians should always be smiling, happy, cheerful. This is impossible, the Bible says. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to, at times the only appropriate logical response to life is grief. The Bible says you are to grieve over your losses, including your disappointments, your sin, the suffering in the world and your friends who are spiritually lost. God doesn't expect you to be happy all the time. In fact, he wants you to be intentional in your grief. Grief is essential to your health. If you never grieve over anything, it means one of three things. You're out of touch with reality, you're out of touch with your own emotions, or you don't love. Because when you love, loss makes you grieve. Grief is a painful emotion, but it's a healthy and helpful emotion. And it's God's gift. It's the tool that God gives us to get through the transitions of life. Some of us were hurt growing up, divorce, abuse, bullying, etc. But as a child, you didn't know how to grieve in a healthy way, so you just pushed it down deep inside you. You need to go back and grieve over it. Why? Because if you don't grieve, get stuck emotionally, and you spend the rest of your life life reacting to something that happened a long time ago and taking it out on the people around you now. Hurt people, hurt people, and it's unhealthy to bleed on those that didn't. You cut us, David talked about this in Psalm 32, 3. When I kept things to myself, I felt weak deep inside me. I moaned all day long. The bad things that happen to you are not your choice. But grief is a choice. You say, I don't like feeling sad. Not everything that's helpful and healthy feels good. You've got to let yourself mourn the losses of life 
so that you can move on with your life and receive God's blessings. No matter what part of the world you're reading this from today, it's likely you're living in a culture that's stressed out. This is not anything new. People have always dealt with stress. In the book of Job, the main character experienced one source of stress after another. Eventually, Job said, If my misery could be weighed, if you could pile the whole bitter load on the scales, it would be heavier than all the sand of the seal. Is it any wonder that I'm howling like a caged cat? Job 6.2.3 have you ever felt like Job, as if you were carrying all the sand of the sea on your shoulders? Have you wanted to just howl like a cat trapped in a cage? There's only one place to go for relief from stress like that. Jesus. He tells his followers, Liam from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew 11.29 What can you Liam from Jesus Christ that will lower the stress in your life? Gentleness and humility. But you may be saying, wait a minute. Why didn't Jesus say, Till teach you endurance and stamina, or till teach you confidence and courage? That would make more sense. But Jesus knows things like courage and endurance ultimately aren't what you need to lower your stress. You need gentleness and humility and he wants you to learn them from him. Why gentleness and humility? You probably don't realize it, but the two biggest causes of stress in your life are aggression and arrogance, and gentleness and humility are the antidotes to those two things. Aggression happens when you do things too quickly. You don't wait. You don't ponder. You don't delay. You don't think it through. You don't trust God's guidance and direction. You just jump in with both feet. As a result, you get overcommitted and you fill up. 